Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos online. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you'll be able to highlight keywords in a scripture when projecting in church using Easy Worship. So let me show you what I mean. So actually, this is what I mean. Um, in case you project a scripture and then the pastor keeps on like highlight this word in your bible how you'll be able to do that and then you project quickly you want to highlight certain words in the scripture and then project as well so we are going to do that using easy worship software but mind you easy worship easy worship is not a free software you need to purchase the license before you can use um the full version without uh, a watermark so if you have not yet purchased you can download the demo version which is the free one it also has the full features except that you have i mean the watermark in there so in this very tutorial i'm going to use easy worship 6 okay so this is the demo version that i'm demonstrating with so this is what i use then i continue and then um let's say your man of god i mean tells you to uh, project a scripture like Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and then tells you to highlight the words for instance um, there are possibilities that he may not tell you to highlight the words immediately but um, he may want you to project okay so it is if it is Genesis 1 1 you just double click to project but I'm going to show you something um, how to change the the alignment of the scripture uh, because I actually I don't like the right alignment of the default scripture so what i do is that i go to edit and then i you move to options then you come to scripture when you come to scripture select um the scripture font and then it says from here test alignment choose center this is a personal preference um you can choose to do what you want to do so actually i choose center and then when i come to reference location i choose um before each slide that means i want it to go up and then i choose the verse sorry the reference font and then i also make it um center then i increase it the font size a little bit for visibility purpose and then when i'm done i click on ok but before that um with the reference font I like to use yellow, the yellow color, because actually to make it visible for the um, the audience to read from my screens, I actually project on a black background and then a white scripture font and then the reference font is yellow. So when we click on OK, this is what I'm going to have. So let me double click. So I like to project my scriptures this way uh -huh, on a black background with a yellow um, reference and then a white scripture font. So this is what I mean by um, aligning your scripture test in Easy Worship. So now let's move on to the main tutorial where we want to highlight certain keywords in the scripture being projected. So for instance, your man of God is, I mean, um, talking about the word and then the beginning so he says gives him um it tells you to give him genesis chapter 1 verse 1 you project genesis chapter 1 verse 1 then he says um highlight or underline the word or maybe they write down the key points or the words in the scripture maybe beginning in the beginning so quickly move to presentation quickly move to presentation and then add a pre presentation you can either create this thing down or um, a presentation like this maybe keywords um, usually I have this one down I just have um, keyword presentation down so I just remove this one so I, I wouldn't need them for anything and then I come to the scripture you have to do it quick so you double click on it your scriptures are added it's added to I mean the presentation and then in the beginning you select in the beginning and then you change the font from white depending on what color you want to use to highlight the words i want i don't want to use the same yellow bar i want to use this turquoise blue because of the yellow 
font here. I don't want to use that one. So I want to use turquoise blue and then I use it to highlight. So when I'm done, I click on OK and quickly I project that one. So you see it's in the beginning. So highlight the keyword beginning. And then let's say it tells you to, I mean, um, let's move to another scripture. So let's see another scripture. It mentions um, always you can project the scripture that you mentions. And then when it tells you to highlight certain keywords in there, then you do that. So it says that in the beginning. So for instance, it says let's move on to John chapter 1 because you don't know which word he wants you to highlight. So it says John chapter 1 verse 1. So when you are ready to set in there, then you double click to go. So once you have double click to go, it tells you um, underline the word um, beginning again. So for instance, you edit, you move to, let me do that again. You go to presentation and then you right click and then you choose edit presentation. And then you move on to the next line because we don't want to clear this one. We have to move on to the next line. Um, the next line in our presentation or the next slide. Let me use the next slide. The word is the next slide. So you hold down control key plus the enter to move on to the next um, slide. And then you add another scripture. So John 1, 1. So when you add John 1, 1, quickly, you have to do this quickly. So you select in the beginning again. And then you change it to turquoise blue. That is a personal preference. You can use any, any of them. And then you just move on to the, um, the second slide. You just project. So it, it, maybe you might want you to reference back to the first scripture. You go in the beginning. And then it tells you underline. Let's move on to John chapter 1 verse 1. It also uses the... Um, it tells you to highlight the, the word again in the beginning. Usually in Ghana, you hear many men of God saying that if the Bible is yours, if the Bible, whether the Bible is yours or it's not yours, <laughs> the, whole, um, the most important thing is to underline the word. Usually that is just by the way. Ghanaian pastors like to use that word. Uh, if the Bible is yours, underline the word. Uh -huh. But actually this is, um, this is how you'll be able to do it for every scripture. For every scripture, this is how you'll be able to do it. Okay, so when you follow this, um, you should be able to highlight some words in it. So this is how you'll be able to do it quickly using Easy Worship software when you want to highlight words. So for instance, let's say he wants you to uh, move on to highlighting words like in the beginning was word. And then so you still move on to the next reference. I mean, the, the, you create a new slide. So this is how you create a new slide. You hit control key plus enter. Listen very carefully. Control key plus enter will let you move the enter key. Control key plus the enter key will let you move. This is control key plus enter. This is what I mean. Control plus enter. Okay. To move on to a new slide. Okay. So now let's see. Your we you put the case out of the scripture and then when you move on to the next slide, um, you can just double click. When you double click, because we have already selected scripture, we should be able to add another scripture. So John chapter one, verse. I mean, he wants you to verse one. He says, "In the beginning was the word," and then he wants you to highlight some words like word and then darkness. So in the beginning was the word. So you see it's highlight in the beginning. Highlight word. Please, you have to do this quick. Okay, then you can move on to the next reference. Maybe he wants you to do something else like, um, and the word, I think the word was made flesh. Okay, 
year two in the beginning is here. So a word like this. I like it. But you'll be projecting them slide by slide. Okay. You just have to be projecting them slide by slide. Let me bring this down a little bit. So you project and then you have it here. So on my projector screen, this is what I'm going to see. In the beginning, it's highlighted in turquoise blue, word in turquoise blue, and and any word that I've highlighted will be shown. So thank you very much for watching this video. And then make sure you subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, and then like the video as well. If there is any assistance you need, you can contact I mean, even tech studio on our email or WhatsApp or Telegram. Thank you very much for watching my video. Stay blessed.